We're here with SolidWorks Live at 3D Experience World, and I'm with Chris Rufo with Lenovo. Chris, welcome. Hey, thanks so much. Great to be here. Chris, tell us a little bit about what you do at Lenovo. So I'm the segment lead for the architecture and engineering segments, and we're excited to be at SolidWorks World, or 3D Experience World, I should say. First, <laughs> first 3D Experience World. Very excited to show you our most innovative and reliable portfolio. We'll start here with our new ThinkPad P53 which is our most powerful 15 inch to date. It can take up to a Quadro RTX 5000 wow. card in it. It's a monster. It's like a desktop machine in a portable form factor. You can take it anywhere, run the entire 3D experience uh, software platform on it and expand beyond that. Rendering, simulation analysis, you name it. It's, it's a, it's a monster. This is a true mobile workstation. I it can, is. I, you know, we have cloud tools and we also have thick desktop tools. Uh, a machine like this is really, I have no limits to the work that I can do with something like this. There is no limits. It's a desktop on the go. You can move fluidly from your desktop into the boardroom, to your clients, to home. Okay. It's, it's mobile and the power brick has been reduced by 30%, so That's it's much easier small. on your back as well. But this is still a pretty big device. What if I want something a little thinner? What if I'm traveling a lot, I'm hopping on an airplane, and I don't, wanna, I don't wanna pull this out at TSA all the time? Let me show you our P1, which is also running SolidWorks Visualize here. This is our thinnest mobile workstation, 15 inch. Hold this. Wow. Thin and light, extremely powerful. It, it can take up to a Quadro T2200 graphics card. So even this card. thin of a device is going to have a Quadro in it. It does. Discrete graphics card up to a T2200 uh, uh, i9 processor, Xeon processor, um, 64 gigs of, uh, of RAM. So it's a true thin and light mobile workstation. Looks like you're doing a rendering here in SolidWorks Visualize. It is, we're running SolidWorks Visualize, so you could run SolidWorks Visualize in something that weighs. So is this your lightest uh, device that you have? Not our lightest, we've got one oh. that's lighter still. This is the P43S, uh, and it is our, our truest, lightest mobile workstation. You can run SolidWorks on this, and it does have a discrete graphics card, a P520 in it. Uh, you can put up to a, the 8th gen i7 uh, processor in it, up to two terabytes of storage. It's thin and light. Uh, I use this one personally, and I'm gonna get one of these to go yeah. on the road. And it's, it's perfect for light duty SolidWorks work. So it sounds like you have a lot of customization options on each one of these you've looked at. Even in a mobile platform, it sounded like you offer a lot of variety and how I can spec out my, mach my machine. Where can the folks at home learn how to like kind of spec this out? You know, I've looked at all of these and they all have really great needs and fit certain circumstances. What if I want to learn some more about this? Uh, absolutely. You know, for the folks here, come and visit us at the booth. Yeah. Uh, but if you can't, uh, visit it at Lenovo.com and ThinkStations. We currently have a 40% off promo that's running right now, so that's not just for the SolidWorks users, it's for folks at home as well. Okay. We can, we so go. we're not always mobile. Sometimes I'm at home and I'm comfortable in my desk, but you know, I have a big tower under my Good desk. Do, you, I, do I have a way, can I make that smaller, that tower that I'm working with? We can show you how we've shrunk the tower. Come over here and have a look at the world's smallest workstation, one liter chassis. This is the P330 Tiny, and it's the world's smallest workstation. You can put a P1000 graphics card in here. It's fully discrete. Uh, it's our smallest mobile work, it's actually the world's smallest mobile workstation, and it will run SolidWorks and 3D Experience. It's perfect for uh, boardrooms is perfect for STEM education. It will do, you know, Seems light Seems really good for like network rendering, things like that, passing off different, you can you have could, a whole different cluster. tasks, yeah. you could, uh, you certainly could. We've got more powerful solutions for rendering, um, but this is, it's tiny. Yeah. And it's, it can be used from everything as a workstation for SolidWorks to a, an, a, uh, an edge device for um, AI. So it's, it's truly a remarkable de uh, device. There's nothing else like it okay. on the market. 
but I want your most power. So we've seen really nice light uh, form factors. We've seen mobile workstations, the smallest. I want the, I want, I want you to show me what's the most powerful device you guys Come on have. around the corner. We can, this is the world's most powerful workstation. It's the P920. Uh, and it is. You should let that camera get in here. It's here. Let me get. It. You can put up to three double wide Quadro RTX cards in it. And this, this is your machine if you're doing Simulia or some really high end rendering, simulation, and analysis. This is the machine that will run it as quickly as you can on the desktop. It's also. Uh, one of our premier uh, solutions for desktop AI, for sandbox work, where you can experiment on the desktop and then scale to the data center in the cloud without you know, spending lots of money when you're experimenting. You can do it on the desktop and scale when you're ready. Very cool. But I, so I work on a team of about seven people and we all have these big desktops kind of piled around. Is it you have any solutions for something like that where maybe we want to distribute our workloads inside of the office environment? We do. Now, come around the corner if you can, and we'll show you our new P920 rack solution, which is here. You can see the uh, uh, you can see the guts. This is similar functionality and power to the desktop P920, but it's a 1U rack solution. So you can install this in a rack and do remote workstation with it. You can hook up a uh, thin client and actually run SolidWorks from a thin client and have the same powerful experience as if you had this on your desktop. So almost like I have that big, huge desktop you just showed me. So but what, what does that form factor look like actually on my desk now? Come on over here. So. That P920 rack workstation is hosting all of this. We have SolidWorks running in the center, we have eDrawings over here, we have SolidWorks <laughs> Visualize here, and we have your business apps over here. And it's all being streamed to this P330 So that's tiny. all I have on my desk. I could actually just have that under my desk at that You could, point, you, you wouldn't even see it. So it's a tremendously powerful um, solution where you can run Simulio, you can run SolidWorks remotely on the desktop and it's pixels. It's being decoded by the Quadro graphics card that's in this tiny workstation. Thin client, powerful workstation remote, so you can basically free up your users to go anywhere they want when they need to want with a thin client as opposed to having to cart around something like this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this chain, this actually opens up a lot more space for me to maybe have some more monitors on my workstation to make better use of my productivity while I'm in there, as opposed to having to have that big box in there. And, you know, I like being able to heat my office without uh, my heating bill, but that's not really the way I want to be doing it, right? Definitely not. <laughs> so this is really great for design and, 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 and working with tools like SolidWorks and Simulia, as you had mentioned, but I want to start collaborating with people. You guys have any cool, new, exciting technology we can look at? For Let me show you something really special. We are showing some fantastic VR products. We're partnering with Vario, uh, who are makers of premier VR and XR solutions for collaboration and virtual and mixed reality. Uh, we've got the VR2 headset being shown in our booth over here, but we have a special treat over in the XR zone where they're showing their new XR1 headset, and the demo has to be seen. Okay, well, why don't we? Why don't we take a walk why don't over? We cut, we'll come back in just a second. We're going to go over to the uh, the XR zone. Awesome. So, uh, so Chris, we're here in the XR zone, and I am seeing something different that I've normally, I've never seen before in VR. I can see you right now. You can have a conversation with you. It's fantastic. So, tell everybody where we are right now. I, I can see the camera right there, even. So, we have a special treat for everyone here. 
in the XR zone. We've been partnering with Vario for the last year to certify certain workstations on their new XR1 headset. It's a mixed reality headset. And picking up our conversation at the booth, one of the most difficult challenges in design is experiencing design collaborating at a one-to-one -one scale. And I think what you're about to experience, it's difficult to describe. It's, you have to see it to believe it. It's always the problem with showing VR and AR is people like, they're not in the headset. They'll, they'll look at it on a, on a screen somewhere, but I mean, first off, like I was like, normally I'm in a black, you know, I'm in a virtual room. Right now, you and I are just having a conversation. You can see me, yeah. I can see you, and when you experience the Volvo car in a moment, you will be in the car, and the resolution is phenomenal. It is like you are there. You can see yourself in the reflection. It's a truly immersive experience, and designers and engineers can make informed decisions on the spot without having to rely on extremely expensive physical prototypes, it's excellent for training and simulation. Uh, it does require, however, significant hardware. This is a P920 okay. with a Quadro RTX 8000 card that's uh, driving the experience. And we've been working with Vario for the past year to, to qualify this hardware so users can have confidence when they purchase an XR1 headset that there's a workstation that will run it effectively. And I'll hand it over to Bernard to say a few more okay. words and then let you actually experience All right, this sounds good. the XR1 headset. Bernard, how's it's it going? Up. Hi, great. Look at that. <laughs> you can even do a high five. Yeah, so I think they can actually see what I, yes, that's what I'm seeing what right there. I'm literally okay. seeing yeah. the real world. So we're going to see real world. You, 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 you explain what we're, what so, we're going to see. So right now, I, this is what you see, and I'm going to swap to prepare the uh, uh, show, and this is the car that we are showing you, okay? So, so I'm right now, down. yeah, you see the car, that's a wireframe car that is yep. displayed inside the booth, so, and if you sit, you'll be seated in the driver's position, okay? So I'm in AR right yes. now. And so now, if uh, we want, we can bring you to a full render of the car and you will see the car turn solid. Wow. Look at that, just and come to life. Now you are in the full render of the car and you can see all the detail, like you can read all the numbers, you can read yeah. the uh, uh, music uh, system. You can also identify all the material like plastic, or uh, uh, metallic, or even the stitches. If you look at the, on the right to, this, to the passenger seat, you can identify the different fabrics that's been used to uh, design that seat. So, uh, because it's a, a VR headset, we can also bring you in full VR experience. Wow, so there now it all goes. you are in uh, uh, Venice, and we can play tricks to you. Like <laughs> here is the famous moves of Venice. But more seriously, Volvo has been testing head-up display like on that. that headset with people driving the car in real time. It's so fast, so efficient. They can have you drive a car and add visual experience to the real world. So that also means, but another, uh, another benefit of that headset is that you can see your hands in the... Uh, yeah, even the, when I'm in the full VR. We yes. saw them when I was in AR. We, yes. we saw them when I was in the actual. So that's a new acronym we need, right? Real world, right? Yes. <laughs> then we went to AR. Now we're in VR, but even in VR, I can, I'm not lost. I'm not mm -hmm. reaching for things. I can see where my hands are with yes. this. And we have a very accurate depth. You notice that I can see in the rearview mirror even. Yes, you can see the rearview <laughs> mirror, and I have a surprise in the rearview mirror at the end of the demo. Okay. But right now, I would invite you to do something. Try to grab the uh, stick shift and see how your hands perfectly align with the stick shift and disappear when it's behind. If you grab it with your hand, your hand is behind the stick shift. It's perfectly occluded. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really cool. The depth really precision cool. of our sensor is to the millimeter. It's super important because otherwise that would break the illusion of the car. Yeah, that's, that's wild. I Another thing I can do, I can pretend I'm sitting by you in the car. Hello, how are you doing? I'm with you. <laughs> I'm great. I can huh? talk about the car, I can talk about the design, and when I'm done with my interaction, I just have to disappear and you can continue. <laughs> okay? But we've got one more trick in our sleeve, which is 
we also can dis uh, illuminate the car, uh, render the car using the actual render view from the uh, 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 the actual sorry the actual uh, light uh, situation where you are in. So, as an example, uh, I will swipe you to this view and. You can see me reflecting on the hood of the car. Yeah, okay? I can. Yeah, when so I look down on the hood. The yeah. car is illuminated in real light with what's happening around you. So this is all being captured from the headset? Yes, correct. I don't need any special cameras nope. in the room that I'm nope. in? Or all from the like headset. That. So now if you want, I can open the door on your left. If you want to get out of the car. <laughs> the door is open. The door is open. I feel like I'm going to hit my head on this. It's so real. Yes, it's so real that your brain there. is confused about and what's real and what's fake. I just my feet fed. over the... I'm going to close the door. Don't worry, it's not painful, even if it's going like this. I don't know how much I like and, the door And no, if you look at all the reflection on the car, you can see that the... Uh, we are re yeah, the really, whole room around us. The whole room is reflecting on the car. That's what makes it... I feel it, like I'm going to fall into this car. It's surreal, right? Yeah, definitely. So our objective is that we would put two objects in a room, one real, one fake, and you will not be able to recognize which one is render and which one is real. Okay. We have already tried this with car, and people keep preferring the CG one because it's more shiny. Okay. This is great. So where can people learn more about Vario? So on our website, uh, we have a lot of information about our uh, uh, software. All the SDK is available and uh, we are already shipping the headset for six months for the VR and since December with, uh, with this one. And also we have plenty of video on Vimeo. If you search Vimeo, Vario, you'll see our car driving, our flight simulation, our medical training uh, video. Very good. Bernard, thank you so much for My spending pleasure. a few minutes with us here today on SolidWorks Let's Live. Let's remove the car. So that yeah, I can't see where you are. You're like, you know your what? head is out of the car there. I'm back. There we go. Thank you so much for thank taking a few much. minutes with us. Is uh, And Chris, I want to thank Chris again, also from Lenovo. So stay tuned to SolidWorks Live at 3D Experience World. We've got tons of great more content coming to you.